This is Chicago. At the dawn of the 21st century, Chicago's media was dominated by a handful of major corporations. But a resistance movement arose to free Chicago's media from their clutches. One player in this movement is the Chicago Independent Media Center and its TV show, Chicago Independent Television. The Independent Media Center is a worldwide network of grassroots correspondents committed to using the tools of the media for promoting social and economic justice. You are watching this month's dispatch from the Chicago Independent Media Center. Welcome to Chicago Independent Television, a collection of progressive video reports by grassroots media workers produced free from corporate or commercial support or influence. I'm your host, Gwendolyn Chubb. We'll review a number of events and protests near the end of calendar year 2014, including a Chicago Solidarity Rally in support of protesters in Ferguson, Missouri, a protest at the Cook County Jail, a celebration of International Human Rights Day, a party with the Chicago Light Brigade, and another Chicago protest with kids against police violence. In 1914, Woodrow Wilson signed the bill that created the Fed. He thought it was one of the worst days of his life, and he had destroyed the country. He hadn't destroyed the country. He destroyed the world. Put an end to this now. Welcome back to Chicago Independent Television. In November 2014, Protests in support of slain Ferguson resident Michael Brown took America by storm. Chicago held a number of events and protests, including a solidarity rally, which we'll see in this. If y'all could join me in a four and a half minute moment of silence for Mike Brown, for all the lives that have been lost. And the reason we do four and a half minutes is because they left his body in the street for four and a half hours after they killed him. And then they put his body in an SUV, not even an ambulance, but a police SUV. Shame. And so we, we gonna give that moment of silence to lift up that moment in his life, but also all the lives in which we know that are gone and unfortunately will be gone unless we continue to organize. Most people think the great God will come from the sky. Come on. Take away everything. Make everybody feel high. But if you know what life is worth, you will look for yours on earth now. And now you see the light. There's only one thing that you do. Stand up for your right. Come on. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. But he says you can kill a revolutionary, but you can't kill a revolution. We're an organization that's been struggling against this problem of police crimes for the last 40 years in Chicago and throughout the country. We're in solidarity with Ferguson, but this past August, we filed a letter with the Attorney General of the United States, Eric Holder, uh, signed by 67 victims of police crimes and terror and also of torture. And. Uh, in that letter, we, uh, we showed and demonstrated where there is a pattern of police brutality and criminality in Chicago that makes Ferguson look like a Sunday picnic. In the uh, last four and a half years, 90 people, have, unarmed people, have been murdered by the police in Chicago. 90% of those people are people of color. Over 70% of them are African Americans. 
So that looks like a pattern to me. The reason that you can hear is because it's not just Ferguson. Like you'd have a bunch That's of almost like saying, well, you know what? The LA riots happened in LA. Good thing we don't have that problem. Or, you know what? When Dr. King was assassinated, there were only a few cities. Good thing this whole place doesn't have that problem. Well, the problem has always been the stratification of black males, black females as the other in a country where we were brought over to serve as work and dehumanize. No justice! No peace! No racist! No police! No justice! No peace! No prisons! No peace! No prisons! No peace! More accountability. I want to lift up Miriam Kaba. If you do not know Miriam Kaba, then, then you don't know the Lord. Um, but, I, but we are not...